What's going on everyone? I am back here with an unboxing video for you guys. And what I'm going to be unboxing is the iPhone 5 commuter case from OtterBox. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, before I actually get into it, um, I purchased this off of Amazon.com for $35 after tax. And the seller I purchased it from is Max Mobile. Uh, they're a pretty good seller. Uh, so let's go ahead and take it out. It's, it's wrapped in the shipping info. And you are not going to get the actual retail packaging that you would if you purchase this in a store. So that means that you're not going to get the screen protector that should come with this. But to ensure you guys, this is a brand new case. It has not been used in any way. And the color I got it in is Night Sky. Because my favorite color is blue. So... Yeah, the reason I got this case is because I wanted a much less bulky case, but I also wanted to keep the, uh, protection. <clears throat> so, as you saw in my iPhone 4 OtterBox case, um, unboxing, which I have right here, um, the case itself is really bulky, and it's just big, and I, I didn't really like it. And also, it had this front part on it, which had a screen film which actually degraded the resolution or clarity of the actual display. So that was a downfall of this case, and I did not want to do that again, so I decided to go for the commuter case, which solves that because it has a super thin profile, and it keeps the front of the F5 open, so you get to keep the actual clarity of the display, which is very nice. But I do recommend putting a screen protector a crystal clear screen protector, preference, preferably, on your iPhone 5 with this case, because, I, I mean, you do not want to scratch your iPhone 5 at all. So, I'm going to give you guys a quick look at the case. Um, you do have a cutout for the mute switch. You have your covered up and down, or volume up and down buttons. And you have your cover for the, uh, Headphone jack, your cutout for the microphone, cover, you have your cover flap for lightning connector, and then you have your cutout for the speaker. Um, you do not have a connect or a cutout for your SIM card slot, so if you want to get access to that, you're going to have to remove your iPhone 5 from the case. <clears throat> and then on the top, we have the cutout for the sleep wig button, and on the back, we have the cutout for both the camera and Apple logo. Um, one thing to note is the Apple logo is completely see-through, or not see-through, uh, it does not have a plastic film on it as the Defender case would. So that is a big problem for those of you that don't want dirt getting inside of there. So I recommend putting a screen protector on the back of your iPhone 5 to prevent scratching uh, from happening. So, yeah. Um, this also is a two-part case, so it comes apart like so and splits in two pieces like this. So the first part is the part where you'd actually put your iPhone 5 in, which is the rubber casing, which acts as the shock resistance. <clears throat> and then we have the second part, which is the durability part of the case, which snaps on the back of the rubber part and just gives it an overall structural integrity. So, yeah, keeps also, yeah, it, it helps with shock resistance and just overall dur durability. So, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit, this, hit the subscribe button right up there. Thumbs up the video and comment below if you have any questions at all. I will be sure to answer your guys' questions. And so, yes, thank you guys for watching once again. And peace out.